DOT Tools by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can use layer masks with shapes like a circle or, of course, any other shape as well. Now, once you've actually got that, just go to Layers, and if you can't see that, View and Studio and Layers. All the key panels are here. So, now, Layers, Layer Mask, just there, or Mask Layer as it's called here. Just add that, and you'll see a little thumbnail. You've got a thumbnail there, that's the actual object, so you can move that around, click on there, or the layer mask, and you can move the layer mask around as well. Now, but you can also add to the layer mask. So what you can do, just quickly go to gradient, and just add a gradient. Now, what you can see, you can see straight away, you can see through the design. So, you can see the underlying image. Now, I'm not gonna go with that one, but I am going to go with maybe paintbrush. And again, you can just quickly go there. Of course, quickly show you using white, not so good. Click on there, just go with black or maybe anything in between, maybe gray, and you can add then. You can see through that design. Again, black there, click OK, and you can see the design. Now, key thing here, is that you can actually use effects as well. So as long as you've got that selected, just that's the key thing. Select there and go to filters and distort and mirror. And you see, sometimes it's nice, sometimes it's not. And you can move that around and that's the mask that's just been manipulated by the mirror. And I'm just gonna leave it at that point. Let's say it could be gradients, it could be many other things, but I'm using brush strokes at this point. Click apply. Now, key thing, you go back, just make certain you select that one. And, because I'm always doing that, I'm always going one, I think, hey, it doesn't seem to do anything. So, you actually have to make certain you're selecting the right little thumbnail. And then go to effects. There's effects over here. And maybe add 3D, and you can see straight away, you get that nice little bevel there. And also, of course, bevel and boss as well. Again, Crack that. And now you can, of course, still go back to the original mask. So you can just say, click there, game with black. You can actually now make maybe some add additional thing to create a nice little design so you can see through to the other design. You, of course, can still apply effects. Go there, go to filters, and continue maybe mirror again. And drag that around to create, again, additional designs. Go back there again, and now what you can do, you can actually go to Layer and Rasterize, and the key thing here is deselect that. For me, you know, obviously if you want to keep it, you can, but I'm just saying Rasterize. Now it's Rasterize, it's removed the effects over here, but it's still got the lovely design, obviously the mask is gone. But now what you can do, you can go and create, say, filters and Distort and mirror, and you've got this nice sort of obviously design there, which of course you can then click apply and go over here again to bevel and emboss and add a different emboss or 3D and so on and so on. So there's literally thousands of combinations of 3D bevel, mirror, layer mask, and then you can add a layer mask again. So you can just go to over here to layer mask and maybe add a new master to cut away maybe parts of the design game that you don't particularly want so say you just want to remove that and just keep that like that with the bevel and the boss which of course it's nicely still there so you can maybe make it a little bit mottled or very simple like that right it's a quick run through of layer masks there's literally thousands of ways and things you can do with layer masks and combining them with effects and gradients and so on and so on Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.